Hello viewers, my name is Dr. Sayed. This is the second lecture of Fractional Differential Equation video series. In the previous lecture, we did uh, revise few basic concepts regarding fractional calculus. Uh, in this lecture, I am going to solve this fractional differential equation. Uh, before I solve, uh, the method I will going to use is the Laplace transform method and I need few formulas uh, which I will write first and then I am going to solve it. So, the Laplace transform method this is the first method I will use. The Laplace transform method. This is a very simple and basic method to solve such a fractional differential equation. This is linear, homogeneous, and its coefficients are constants. And this one condition, initial condition is given. Okay, for this, I need to know uh, the formula for Laplace transform of fraction and uh, one more thing and uh, this is a fractional derivative as we seen in the last in the first lecture that there are two concepts of fractional derivative and uh, one is Riemann level fractional derivative and other is capital derivative so whenever a fractional derivative is given you need to understand prior to solve the equation that which fractional derivative it is because you need to use that formula here it is the uh, Riemann level fractional derivative because for that uh, if you use different uh, fractional operator, you, you need different conditions to solve that. Okay, uh, here I need Riemann level fractional differential operator to solve this one. So I need to apply Laplace transform on both sides. So taking Laplace on both sides, it becomes from 0 to x, order of half y of x since laplace transform is a linear operator so you can switch you can split these the terms you can take a outside of the operator and laplace transform of y of x and zero laplace term is zero okay so here you need use a formula the formula for laplace transform of uh, riemann level fractional differential operator of order alpha of some function f of x is is equal to s to the power alpha capital f of s minus summation k from 0 to n minus 1 s to the power alpha sorry s to the power k k is our index and again fractional derivative from 0 to x of order alpha minus k minus 1 at the point 0 here alpha lies between n and n minus 1 okay this is the formula for laplace transform of riemann level fractional derivative we need to adjust for this operator because here we have order half so we take alpha half so put alpha is equal to half and since alpha is between 0 and 1 you can say this is 0 and 1 and using this relation n is the uh, next integer of alpha alpha is 1 by 2 the next integer in is 1 so n here is 1 Again, from the first equation, it becomes s to the power alpha, which is in my case 1 by 2, capital F of s. And here, f of s, uh, because f of s is the Laplace transform of function f of x, but here we have y of x, so I will write capital y of s, which is the Laplace transform of uh, y of x, and then minus, and then summation k from 0 to n minus 1 and then s to the power k and then again fractional operator from 0 to x to the power alpha which is half minus k minus 1 and taken at the point 0 and again n is 1 so as, as, as if I can plug n is 1 here so 1 minus 1 so it's 0 which is 0 
1 minus 1 so it is basically 0 the starting point is 0 ending point is 0 it means this mission is only at the one point which is k is equal to 0 so this is the laplace transform of first term plus we have second term a and laplace of y call it capital y of s and is equal to 0 okay uh, a little bit simplification it becomes s to the power 1 by 2 capital y of s minus since this mission is only for one point which is k is equal to 0 so i can put k is equal to 0 s to the power 0 operator from 0 to x 1 by 2 minus k which is 0 so it's minus 1 at the point 0 and plus a time y of s is equal to 0 so it becomes s to the power half y of s minus it becomes fractional derivative of 0 to x of order minus 1 by 2 at the point 0 and plus a to y of s is equal to 0 here y of s is the laplace transform of y of x here y of t okay we have also given a condition look here we have a condition uh, 0 fraction derivative from 0 to x to the power negative 1 by 2 of y of x at the point 0 which is the same here you can see that this is the same point here evaluated at x equal to 0 so this quantity is just c so plug this value so it becomes s to the power 1 by 2 capital y of s minus capital C plus A to Y of S is equal to 0 and then in the first and third term you can take Y as common and we are left with S to the power 1 by 2 plus A into Y of S and you can plug C at this point and finally we have Y of S is equal to C time 1 over s to the power 1 by 2 plus a now we take inverse laplace on both sides taking inverse laplace taking inverse laplace transform on both sides this becomes y of x it returns the original function and here c getting taken outside as inverse laplace is again a linear operator we have inverse laplace of 1 over s to the power 1 by 2 plus a okay now we need to take the inverse laplace of this function for this i have another formula which i provided in the previous lecture this is the laplace transform of metal lapser function so we know that the laplace transform of x to the power beta minus 1 metal lapser function of order alpha beta into lambda time x to the power alpha is equal to s alpha minus beta and over s to the power alpha minus lambda this is the formula of this metal lapser function i have provided this formula i have, I have provided a proof in the previous lecture series in the lecture number eight I, I will provide a link in the description you can go and watch so here it means that this is laplace transform here so it, it can be written as you, you can switch the laplace to the other side and becomes an inverse laplace so it means the inverse laplace of s to the power alpha minus beta over s to the power alpha minus lambda is equal to x to the power beta minus 1 and beta Leffler function with parameter alpha and beta of lambda x to the power alpha we'll use this formula to solve the laplace transform of this function need to compare what is given 
here and what is here okay first look at the numerator here is one and here we have s to the power alpha minus one this one can be written as s to the power zero so it means we have zero in the power of x and here the power of s is alpha minus beta so alpha minus beta should be equal to zero but alpha is half it is given in the start so it means if alpha is half here becomes alpha is equal to beta and since alpha is half which means beta is also half okay now beta is half now this look at this expression beta minus one since beta is half so this become we can find this one alpha is also known beta is one and what about lambda s alpha minus lambda and here we have s to the power alpha is of course half plus a that means lambda would be equal to minus a so using this information i can write the laplace transform of this function like this one so this becomes so now i have alpha beta i can write this way this way so x to the power beta minus one which is uh, one uh, sorry beta is a uh, half to half minus one and then we have we talk about the function with parameter alpha which is half beta again half into lambda which is minus a x to the power alpha x and alpha is again half this becomes and one more point and this becomes x to the power minus one by two we talk left for function with parameter half and half and minus a x to the power one by two and this is the solution of my fractional differential equation So this is very simple by using Laplace transform method you can see that how simply we just solve this differential equation uh, here we have alpha 1 by 2 we can take alpha anything even we can solve this differential equation in general case by just taking alpha and then using all the formulas here and of course it will uh, if it, it remains alpha it will be remain alpha and then we have alpha here so it, we can solve also this in general case so uh, but here since it was alpha or half so it was easier for us and we got this solution for the given differential equation okay if you have any question you can ask in the comment if you like the video so please subscribe it in the next lecture i'll solve the general case of this differential equation by the same method thank you for watching